следующем ратификации Союз-2 не имеют... Sean Fuller, NASA's Director of Human Spaceflight Operations in Russia. Sean, uh, Soyuz vehicle may look the same from the outside here in Baikonur, but uh, fundamentally different. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, the upgrades, the changes that for this modernized systems vehicle that's about to make its first flight. Yeah, Rob, we got a beautiful vehicle here behind us. They've been working and processing for the last uh, several weeks, getting ready for the launch coming up in a few days. It does look similar on the outside. There are some incremental changes that have happened on the inside uh, with regards to the communication system, uh, the navigation system, and the docking system. All upgrades that they take is a steady pace along the way, along the progress vehicle to make sure it's ready for uh, the implementation on the Soyuz. Now we have the Soyuz rocket upgraded to what we refer to as the MS vehicle, ready for its maiden flight here in a few days. You know, the program never uh, affords a crew a dull moment and uh, the next few months for Kate Rubens and her crew will be no different. Talk a little bit about uh, what the next few months hold in terms of critical milestones for the program. Yeah, that's right, uh, Rob. Uh, Jeff, Alexei, and Oleg are on orbit waiting uh, the arrival of Anatoly, Kate, and Tak as they come up. Uh, they'll be getting uh, right in the saddle, jumping into it. We've got a few vehicles coming right away with Progress as well as a SpaceX. That'll entail uh, some activities, uh, arrival of critical science equipment. They always uh, have a very busy schedule. Research uh, coming up as well as the uh, docking adapter that'll enable us to bring the commercial crew vehicles up uh, here in the next couple of years. So that'll be arriving on a SpaceX vehicle, entail uh, an EVA or two uh, to get that installed on the space station. A little bit later will be the HTV cargo craft that'll come up with the new uh, batteries for our power system as we upgrade that to enable us to go uh, farther uh, along into 2020, 2024 and beyond. Expedition 4849, backup crew member Peggy Whitson. Peggy, uh, it's like old times uh, for you to be back in Baikonur. Your thoughts? Uh, about the upcoming launch, a new upgraded vehicle for Soyuz, and most importantly, Kate Rubin's level of preparedness. Well, we have a fantastic training program, and Kate's an exceptionally talented person, so I know she's ready to go. She's excited about it. Uh, we've been in Baikonur here for a couple of weeks, getting ready uh, on the final stages, and she's, she's ready to go. Um, being back here is, is very special. You know, some things have changed, but many of the traditions and uh, are all the same and so it's always a pleasure to be back here and uh, go through the process again obviously because it means I'm one step closer to being the next one around. Research is the name of the game up on the International Space Station. You're a researcher, Kate, a molecular biologist. She is going to be knee-deep in research up there. How, what does she bring to the table up there for the next several months on orbit once she gets there? Well, they, Kate has a lot of uh, hands-on research experience, which is great when you're doing lots of different people's research. It's good to have laboratory hands to be able to handle different types of things. And uh, she's just a really sharp young lady, and uh, I know she's going to do exceptional. 